from the vault. Um, top secret this week, Lady Ada. Well, is I didn't get those modules, but I did get some <laughs> chips. <laughs> so, um, this kid, even last I checked, they still had some. Yeah. I don't. I didn't bring my scissors with me, so I can't open this. Oh yeah. Well, why don't you uh, just show this beautiful silver package that I wiped down with a with a wiper? Earlier. Yes, it is. This is the ESP32 S2. I got ten chips. Um, so the modules I'm going to use for like a feather, but I still want the raw chips because if I'm making like an itsy bitsy. Or if I'm making a uh, circuit playground Wi-Fi. Thank you for that opening. So let's see what's inside here. So I've got uh, the protective humidity stuff. Thank you. And then here you go. So these are the chips. A little piece of cut tape. And uh, like we said, uh, we're excited to use this chip because it's got uh, teeny USB, native USB support. Maybe really close. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, they go QFN action, center pad, uh, Wi-Fi microcontroller chip. I know, I gotta, I gotta hold it really steady. Yeah, this thing. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Um, so we're gonna maybe try designing some boards with this chip. What I like is it's like so built together. You just need a couple of passives, maybe a crystal antenna, and like it has native USB. Put a QSpy chip on it. Uh, for flash storage, and you're golden. You have a built-in bootloader. So super excited for um, this release, and congratulations to Espresso for releasing uh, their your final silicon for the ESP32 S2, getting it into the hands of people. Okay, is that, uh, is that it? That's it. I can do it. Okay.